Compare the two values using the number line below. Assume the number line is drawn to scale. So they have zero, and we can either pick a greater than, less than, or equal to one minus x. So let's think about what x is. So x is over here. It's to the left of zero. It's even to the left of negative one. So x is definitely going to be a negative number. And it's a negative number that's even beyond, it's to the left of negative one. So it's between negative one, and it looks like it's between negative one and negative two. So x could be like negative 1.6 or negative, yeah, it looks roughly around negative 1.6, give or take a little bit. So if x is negative 1.6, and that's just my rough estimate looking at the number line, what would one minus x be? Well, one minus negative 1.6 is going to be the same thing as one plus 1.6, which is going to be 2.6. If you were going to subtract a negative number, you're going to move to the right. So you're going to be moving all the way over here. So zero is definitely less than, is definitely less than this right over here. Just knowing that x is a negative number, you're subtracting a negative, from one, that means that's the same thing as adding the absolute value of that negative number. So you're gonna get a value that is larger. This is going to be a value that is larger than one if you know that x is negative. And we know that x is negative right over here. So let's just check our answer and we got it right.